Hey guys, it's Alyssa Marie here. Welcome back to my channel. Now, there's something a little bit new happening right here, right now. Can you put your finger on it? That's right, Alyssa's got hair, okay? So, it is glam season. I wanted to find a way to, you know, use my sh So, it is glam season, which means there are parties, upon parties and you just want to look fancy. I am all for glam season and I love to be able to switch it up but with short hair it can be a little bit tricky trying to find ways to make yourself look a little bit different. Like my frohawk, absolutely love it to death but that is my go-to and I just wanted to find something a little bit different. So with all of that being said, I decided that I wanted to find some clip-ins for my hair. I'm also pretty against putting any heat in my natural hair. I just really want it to flourish and be as healthy as possible. So I know I wanted to keep my hair curly. And that's when I decided that I wanted to find some natural hair clip-ins. Like I wanted it to look like it was my hair. So this video is gonna be like a tutorial slash review. I'm gonna show you where I got these clip-ins from. I'm gonna show you how I applied it into my hair and how we did this style. And then at the end, I'm gonna give a review on these clip-ins so you guys can know, is it worth it? What do we think? What do we think? Um, so yeah, if you are interested in hearing about any of that, then continue to watch. Okay, so to start, I'm starting off with 100% dry, crazy hair, and I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair. I need it to be like pretty wet in order to slick everything back into a ponytail. So I'm just gonna grab my DIY curl refresher here. For my avid followers, you already know what the deal is. But this is actually just a mixture of water, conditioner, and a few drops of castor oil. You shake it all up and this is what I use whenever I need to refresh my curls. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of this to my hair to get it all down. All right, so now that my hair is all damp and dripping all over me, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my Curl Love Moisture Milk by Camille Rose just to add back some moisture into my hair. And then to seal in that moisture, I'm gonna go in with the Buridi Nectar Repair Hair Oil, which is also by Camille Rose. I'm gonna focus most of the oil here, kind of in the front of my hair, because when I slick my hair back, I kind of like it to be slick and shiny looking and stuff, so I'm just gonna focus most of the oil right here. And then just so we have a little bit of hold for this style, I'm gonna go in with the Jelly Coconut Styling Gel by Curly Bell. Again, also just kind of focusing this mostly in the front here. Okay, so now that my curls have kind of been prepped, I'm just gonna grab my brush and a hair clip and slick this bad boy back into a ponytail. Ta-da! You guys, look at my little poof! Ah! I love it. Oh, I can't wait for it to be like, five times the size, Oh, Okay, so I think it is time to whip out these clip-ins. Okay, so the clip-ins that I ordered are from this company called Curly Clips, a super cute company. Trust me, I did tons and tons of research before I actually placed an order. I was just trying to find some options for some clip-in extensions, but honestly, this company, Curly Clips, has been I don't know, it just seemed like the most legit kind of website. Somebody I trusted, their hair that they sell is 100% human hair and I don't know, I just felt comfortable ordering from them based off of how their website looked and the reviews and everything. So I went ahead and I ordered their little afro poof. So their hair comes in this cute little carrier bags with their logo on it. Let's get on into this. It is so cute. So again, like I said, it is 100% human hair. And I think this one kind of matched my curls the best. So here is what it looks like. And then it comes with this little comb thing at the top here, and then a drawstring to help secure it. Actually, there's multiple comb thingies. So there's four. One, two, 
three, four. So this 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 gonna be secure, okay? I kind of just bought this because I love nothing more than like a curly, messy bun kind of look. So that's the look I'm going for today. Let's go ahead and apply this and see how it goes. I'm gonna use these two combs to secure it to the front part of my ponytail. Then I'm just grabbing two of the other combs in the back and securing them at the bottom part of my ponytail. Then I'm just gonna use this drawstring here in the back to tighten the ponytail. All right, and then I'm just gonna tuck the tail end of the drawstring back inside the ponytail. So here's how it looks right now. It looks a little bit crazy. But I'm not really too mad because the look that I'm going for is an afro poof. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab a few bobby pins and just pin down pieces, kind of wrap it around and pin down pieces until I get the bun look that I'm going for. Just keep pinning, just keep pinning. Do, 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 do. Okay guys, so what do we think? Wow, this is weird to see myself with so much hair. Okay, okay. And then just to finish off the look, I'm gonna grab a little bit more gel and slick down these edges, hunty. You can't have a messy bun without some cute edges. Ta-da! That is pretty much it, guys. So my thoughts on this ponytail, I actually really love the quality of hair. It feels really soft and it looks a little bit shiny. I don't know if the camera is catching this. It is super easy to apply and it's comfortable and I'm really not mad at the hair quality at all. So this Afro Puff retailed for 79 US, which I was kind of like, ooh, that's a bit pricey, but when it comes to you know, I just really appreciate quality and I'm the type of person who will pay a premium when it comes for quality. Um, so do I think $79 is a bit on the pricier side? Absolutely. Especially for an Afro puff of this size, it's kind of small. Um, but do I think it's worth it? I, I think so. Uh, I just, in terms of the quality, it came with a nice little handwritten note and everything. Um, so pricey, yes, but worth it, kind of. It was really hard to find something else of this quality on the internet for something cheaper. So all in all, I actually really like this. I had to use a lot of pins, but I mean, I think this is cute. But yeah guys, that is it for this review slash tutorial. I just wanted to mention that this video is not sponsored by Curly Clips at all. Legitimately something that I just found online and decided to try it out and I am now sharing it with you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, you already know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe and also just don't forget to give me a thumbs up. As always, any questions, please leave me some comments below. I do my best to try and answer everybody. So yeah, guys, I will catch you in my next video. Bye.